Hello viewers, uh, I'll be talking about uh, our next question, how Java serialization works. In the previous video, we have talked about uh, what is serialization, what is Java serialization. But now, here is a very, very important question, how Java serialization works. So I've taken an example, without example, you can't understand this. So I've taken an example, serializing object of car example, okay. So I'm going to create an object car, which has data like um, company name, model name, car color, and engine ID. I have marked engine ID as transient because I don't want JVM to serialize this data. I don't want this data to be persisted in the factory. Let's see what happens. I have created a small example. So, serialization name. Okay. So, let's let's see the car class see very important is it should implements it should implements serializable that means you are telling the compiler boss this car object should be serializable so it's a marker interface you don't have to implement any method it is just informing the compiler and uh, the jvm that okay this object is serializable that means it can be the the, the data inside this can be Converted into stream of bytes and it can be persisted in the flat file. So now I'm going to serialize. Let's start the serialization. Okay, I'm going to serialize this object. So what happens is I'm creating an object. Okay, it goes here to the constructor. Okay, then I'm assigning some values to the each data. I mean I'm changing the state of this object. So I created an object and changing the state of this object. So these are the state. Okay. So this is a flat file I'm, try I'm trying to write. So file output string. I am going to write into this file. Let's see what happens. So object output string is very important class which is going to help us in writing the uh, which is going to help you in converting this state into a flat file. Okay. So this is very very important write object method. So write object method. So we are passing the object here. So it is going to write this object in a as a stream of bytes into the this file into this file icon called the set file. Let's see what happens. Okay, it is writing it. And we have marked this engine ID as transient variable. That means because I don't want to I don't want JVM to persist this value. So it will be it will not be persisted okay transient means skip the serialization transient means strip, skip the serialization okay now it is serialized let's see what happened okay so you can see here this is a serialization file icon sir is created and you can see the um, class class information and the data type information say for example model name what is the data type is it, is it a string or float or double or whatever it is so car color then then the value see so it, it has class information then data type information and the data so class information data type information and the data finally the data you can see here engine id is not available here okay so now i'm going to deserialize it it's there in the file now i'm going to read that file and I'm going to bring the read object is very very important. I'm going to read the objects which are present in this file. Okay, so okay, now we got the object created in the memory, and I'm going to print it. So whatever we stored, it's going to uh, print here. But engine ID, you can see here, engine ID what we said is completely different. Five four six five, but here we got zero. That's what. So engine ID is not persisted, it got the default value. So transient means skip serialization process. Transient mean means skip the serialization process. Other other values we we serialized it and it came properly. Whatever value we stored, it came properly apart from engine ID. So hope you understood the serialization, how the serialization works. I showed you the um, the serialized file. It, class, it has the class information, data type information and the data. It, it skips 
if you see if, if it sees the transient variable it skips and whenever the deserialize it gives the default value hope you understood uh, how serialization works okay i'll be talking about uh, i'll be talking about i'll be answering other questions uh, in the java serialization topic thanks for thank you for watching this video all the best for your java interview thank you